Now, uh, this uh, is a, a problem under a cylinder. Okay, we have seen a prism, then a pyramid, now a cylinder, an example in cylinder. And this question reads what? A cylinder of base, this is a cylinder, yeah, this base, it's a round. Cylinder of base, diameter 50 millimeter and altitude, what is altitude? Altitude means height, okay, altitude means height. And at height, height 70 millimeter is tilted. What is tilting? If I have a cylinder like this, I can tilt it, inclined or tilted until, see, kindly understand the meaning of every word. Instead of giving it is inclined, it is given tilted, that is all. See, until the axis makes an angle of 60 degree with the HP. What is that now? What is the axis for a cylinder now here? This is a cylinder, the axis is here, invisible axis. Okay, we cannot see that, it is an invisible line. The dotted line, what you are writing is axis. We have already seen what is an axis means. Now, this is been tilted like this. When the axis is inclined to angle of 60 degree with HP. So, obviously, we are drawing it on VP, that concept we know. And parallel to VP, because making the cylinder parallel to VP. Is this parallel to VP now? Or should be like this. See, parallel to VP means you should always think axis is parallel to VP. This is the axis. If you make it like this, the axis will be perpendicular to VP. This is wrong. This is the condition. This is for a satisfied condition. It is parallel to VP. Draw the projection of the cylinder. Now, how to draw this? Now, you see, just draw a XY line. Y, VP, HP. Then X. Now, what do you do? First, you have to know how to place the cylinder. Where will I draw this true shape? In the front view or in the top view? Is the question. The question reads: Diameter of the 50 mm cylinder, altitude 70 millimeter, is tilted until the axis is makes an angle of 60 degree with HP. The difference between this problem and previous problem, say maybe uh, prism or your uh, pyramid, is there we had a clue that it is resting on or on HP or VP. So, you made it, you should uh, you come to the conclusion, it is means fixing on XY line. Here, it is not given any type of that type of word is not used here. But it just shows, makes an angle of 60 degree with HP and parallel to VP. Draw the projections of the cylinder. Now, how to place this body now? base diameter 50 mm and altitude 70 millimeter is tilted until axis makes an angle of 60 degree with HP. That is it. How to make this now? Angle. How do you make this? How it is tilted? Axis is tilted 60 degree with HP. Now, I will just make, this is the first position, axis is here. I should first make the cylinder parallel to VP. Clear? Now, if it is tilted like this, or you can tilt like this, no problem. Axis can be tilted anyway, anywhere. Tilted like this, 60 degree making to. When the axis is tilted 60 degree to VP, HP, where is the, you have many corners here. How to make, you are dividing a circle into many parts. Now, my first point is this. So, in the top view, I see the true shape with the diameter of 50 millimeter. First view, I can see the altitude or height of 70 millimeter. Okay. So, top view I am making like this. Okay. And you are, I will say, this is, I will write phi. I hope you understood phi means symbol of diameter. Diameter, what is this given? 50 millimeter. 550. Okay. And this has to be, uh, for my convenience, I am just, uh, you know, erasing this line to, because I have to divide it into many different points. So, I just draw this circle, I mean, divide it into some points. Become 8 points. I start from A. I will write point A. See, this is a cylinder. You have both the M. If the cylinder the top and board, bottom are same, same shape. I should have points A, A, A here. B here, C, D, E, F, G, H, 8 points. Then, this is top portion. What is the bottom portion? 
I am looking from the top. Bottom portion also I have, same thing. Now here I will write point 1 and uh, 2, 3, say 4, say 5, 6, 7 and 8. So the problem is here you should decide which point is A here. I am top from C, this is my A. Then I go to B here, B in between. A is here, B in between here, C comes to the corner, then D is in, in between, then E goes to this corner, F is in between, G goes to this corner and H here. Bottom most is 1 in this corner, 2 is in between, 3 corner, 4 in between, 5 corner, 6 in between, 7 corner, 8 in between. Now just project it to the top. One more clue I am giving. You have to simply make this front view just rest on x, y. If it is not mentioned of any distance normally from x, y line, you can simply just draw it on x, y line itself. See the previous question it is told it is resting on, it is or on x, y or h, b. Here it is not mentioned but draw it as it is. No problem with that. Now I will have to draw the all these points now which are all visible from here from the front view I am again telling this you just draw which are visible points now A point is this then comes B then C D E what you can see all this now back side will be the other one all this this comes in from your side what is the bottom most point here I met A B in the top and 1 2 3 these numbers are in the bottom and uh, the word alphabets are in the top now for you the top is A Okay, then my B is yes, actually B is A is here and B comes here. B is visible. B is here and C A B C C is again visible. C point D point again visible. V P C point D point visible. E point E point is again visible. This corner. This corner. A B, C, D, E. Then I go to F. F is invisible. Then go to F, G. G is invisible. Then go H. U, G, H. H is invisible. Very simple. Alphabets first you finish it. Then go for the numbers. What are the numbers here now? Come here. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1 is here. 2 is here. 3 is here. 4 is here. 5 is here. 6 is here, 7 is here and 8 is here. Now from your side, can you see 1? 1 is here. 1 is visible. 2, you can see 2. Go to 3, 3 is visible. Go to 4, 4 is visible. 5, 5 is visible. Now 6, where is 6? 6 is invisible. 4 and 6. Then 7, 7 is invisible. Okay? 8. 8 comes behind here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay? That will be right. Okay? So, this is how you are making it. Just understand. So, whatever you see from the front or which is visible, you draw it here. Invisible, you draw it here. That is a simple idea. Now, it is told the next step is until the axis makes an angle of 60 degree with HP. Okay? Now, here, the inclination angle is, now what is this? Uh, on. You kindly remember you have to write these dashes. I mean all these uh, oh no, notations are very important because whatever you are drawing it in the top view is as such. But front view when you go all this dash you have to put. Is it not? That is very important because this, that, that is very important to get the best uh, score or the mark. Because when any, any uh, corrections is uh, you know when they go for when you your answer is, uh, sheet is been corrected obviously they look for every perfectness for even the drawing the proper uh, notation for this diameter the proper height see I have not indicated the height also the altitude or height is given altitude 70 millimeter 
So all this you carry marks. Please kindly understand you to make it a complete sketch. Then it shows a max and angle of 60 degree with HP. Very simple again. With HP where you are drawing? Max and angle of 60 degree with HP. I can either make like this or like this. It's left to you. It's left to this. So axis makes an angle of 60 degree with HP and parallel to VP draw the projections. We have made all these conditions perfect. Now it's your convenience. Even you can make it like this or like this. Just for a change, I'm making it. This should be easier. There's no difference of making this side or that side. Both it makes to be 60 degree. Now you shift everything here. This axis is here. This makes it like this. I just rub for my convenience. I'll just clear this. Uh, and here. Okay. Only you make it like this. See, now what I made? I just tilted here this axis point. Now, and I made this corner point number one touching in one point. Okay, so this see this told axis should make 60 degree. For that matter, we should not cannot bring this point down down to xy line. It is to be on xy line only, because and altitude it is tilted until the axis makes an angle of 60 degree with HP. That's all. It should not come out of this. So axis I made 60 degree. So obviously, when you draw this axis 60 degree. So these things, this width actually comes here, remaining. It's all you can measure it and directly draw. No change in this. Then you indicate all the diagrams. I mean, this is one dash, your two and eight, your three comma seven, this uh, four comma six, and five dash. Here it is, a dash. B dash H dash in bracket C and G and go D F. After marking this, then everything you project it actually down. All the points you bring it down. Okay, one by one, you should bring it down. I again request. See, this is a board. I am drawing in a board. So the length, the width, the whatever it is, will be a. Uh, it's clubbing together. So I cannot give an exact picture here. It's only you to take care of when you draw it, it comes a perfect shape. Because very important is placing. But the inclination and our finishing work is totally depend on your experience. That means the number of times you draw and see. Okay. See so many lines come in between. Is it not 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 lines? Because points are 10. All the points I should say. A to H, 8 points. And 1 to 8, everything. Now in between this, all this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 points. Okay? All these 10 points I wanted. Now what to do now? Everything from this sketch, your first top view, you project. Okay. Uh, I, I will just suggest you, I will mark only the points and give a overall picture. Because I cannot give you the exact picture in drawing this. It will be very consistent. It looks very odd. I will tell you simply, point number 1 is here and where is your 1? One? 1 is this point. 1 is this point. You just go through here. From here on, you mark point 1. I just only the marking the points. I am not writing any word. Do you understand by my words what I am telling? One is here, one. Just mark it one. There is two point here, two. Two comes down, where is two here? Two comes here. So from this point, bo this both are same lines. There is no change. This comes here. There is two. This two. Then three. Three is in the bottom. Oh, oh I had not taken this line. See, very important. I missed this line, the base. Very important thing. This top and this top is required, no? So this, this, one, two, three, all are required. So this here, point number three, one, two, three is here. Comes here, three. Then four, my four point here. This comes under two. Two and four will be in the same line. The so four is four and five. This is four. This four point. Then fifth 
point is here. This fifth point comes here. Where is five point now? Five is one, two, three, four, fifth point is here. This last corner is fifth point. Fifth is here. Okay. Then see what I mean to say. You see? Can you see a, a round? See, it starts from here. I'll just give an overall picture. Come like this. Can you understand? It becomes it's two circles. You see? Just like this, one circle here. It is inclined like this. From the top of your face, see, one circle to one circle. That's it. So all these points will come in like this. What I'll draw instead of writing this from this top point, it comes like this. I'll draw the sketch, which is correct. But you should understand where you have to give a dotted line. Suppose. This is it. This is the cylinder. That means, see, there is a connection between this point. When from the top you see, you can see this. When you hold, you kindly make a chart like this and keep it on your, uh, no, you know, just beneath your head and just look it. If you inclined it, you can see this round and this round, connected by one line like this. All these points you kindly mark. If you mark it, it will come exactly. Why I am writing this line inside? From here, if you look, this is visible. This is also visible. What we use is top view. From the top, I see this bottom is not visible for me. See, this is visible. This is visible because it's inclined, so I can see this pull. But one side, at least, I'm telling off the side, some three or two points will not be visible for me. That means maybe some two or three points. That alone will be totally. That is not a big issue because if you draw it once, you will obviously understand. Which is invisible, and draw it. Yeah, this will be the final sketch. Okay, so this is how you finish a diagram. So the very important thing is you should understand the meaning of every word given in the question, and for which the basics, whichever points I told, that means the for the quick review or the positions. How a solid is positioned? It is parallel or perpendicular or inclined. What is the first step? How do we make a top view or a front view? Which is very important because always only by making the true shape of any body, that is, a, I mean any solid, that is, at a cylinder or a rectangle or a triangle or a hexagon, whatever it is, you can then make the the projected view. Then inclination depends on whatever you are doing. Okay, very important. Kindly finish it, and the numbering is very very important. You number it properly, and uh, two or three times you practice, you will never make mistakes. And kindly understand while numbering it or uh, sorry, giving a notation, whichever visible you keep on make it first, then invisible in the next stage. Is it okay? So this is the problem problem under cylinder. So your prism, then your uh, pyramid, then cylinder. These three topics, whatever problems available either in your You you are having uh, different types of books, whatever the author may be. Just go through that and draw it. And you practice two or three times, you will understand the difference between one problem and the other problem in what way it has been asked. Okay, that's it.